we are at Xingxi Castle today here in Taichung, and we're gonna be exploring Taichung today. This is our first stop. Let's go ahead into the city and see what else there is to do. Let's go. First up, we have Gaomei Shidi. Now, this is actually a bit out of the city, but certainly, certainly worth the trip. These wetlands are quite unique, and it is one of the most essential things that you must do in your trip to Taichung. There is a nice boardwalk and food here, but everyone is really here for the sunset. It is a marvelous one, so get here a bit beforehand so you can see all the action. Now, Miyahara is one of the most famous spots in Taichung by far. It's an ice cream spot, also known for its pineapple cake and its pastries. So it's perfect if you're looking for something sweet or a nice gift for somebody back home. Now, what really interested me was the architecture of these two buildings that are now ice cream shops. One being an old eye doctor's clinic and the other an old bank. And it makes me really happy to see how they respected and they decided to preserve some of the history of this place. If you have ever watched this channel before, you might know I am kind of a super nerd for history, especially Japanese colonial history in Taiwan. That is why I had to stop by Longtang Bridge, which is actually in Miaoli on the way to Taichung. This is an old colonial bridge which was built in 1906, but was ultimately destroyed by earthquakes and has become one of the attractions on Taiwan's old mountain line. Another huge tourist attraction in Taichung is Rainbow Village. Now this was basically old government housing for retreating KMT soldiers back in the day. As people started moving out and the village started growing smaller, one resident, now nicknamed Rainbow Grandpa, decided to paint what was left of the place. Next up is Xingxi Castle where we started this video. Not gonna lie, this place was a bit strange for me. I wasn't sure what the purpose of this place was. It seems like it could be a good spot if you love photography. However, for the most part, it seems like one of those places without an essence, you know? It seemed a bit off and a bit unnatural. It's essentially a make-believe European style castle that someone decided to start charging an entrance fee for. So in Taichung, there is this massive park named Calligraphy Greenway. And throughout this area, there are multiple things to do and places to visit. One such place would be Shenji New Village. This is really a cool place to come and take a look around, grab a snack, take a few pictures. It has sort of an artsy vibe and there are a lot of cool handmade trinkets to look at, boutique shops and little snacks. And this place can get insanely crowded on the weekends. So try to come a bit earlier or on a weekday if possible. One of my all-time favorite spots in Taichung would be the National Museum of Fine Arts. And it really actually was surprisingly good. Admission is free, so there's nothing to lose. Go check it out and see what they'll have. If you're a Miyazaki fan, then there's this little spot known as Totoro's Bus Stop. It's not a real bus stop. It's just there for decoration and maybe a photo or two. However, it's a cool and interesting little spot to check out if you're around the area. Speaking of pictures, Chen Yu Dalo seems to have become quite the spot. It's an old, mostly abandoned building that is pretty cool and explorable. I believe there is an art studio here on the fifth floor or one of these floors, but besides that it seems mostly abandoned so you're free to kind of walk around and see what's going on. Now I know this list does not include everything guys, trust me there is just so much to do in Taichung I couldn't even visit it all in one trip. You know, uh, even on the Calligraphy Greenway, there's so much. There's the Science Museum, there's the Botanical Gardens, there's the Night Market, Fengjia Night Market is very famous. I'm gonna finish up this video with a day trip out of Taichung, and that is to Sun Moon Lake, Taiwan's largest lake, about an hour or so out of Taichung. And don't make the same mistake I did, guys. Get yourself an electric bike when you're going around this. You do not wanna be pedaling around this huge lake. There are temples and all sorts of stuff to do here really nice scenery all around if there's anywhere that i missed please tell me about them in the comments i'm always looking for new spots and thanks so much guys i will see you in the next video